This Kella Land Living segment is sponsored by the Sioux Falls Development Foundation, leading the way in creating one of the most vibrant, secure, and growing economies in the nation. For the past six years, the Sioux Falls Development Foundation has gathered together some of the Sioux Falls region's leaders and employers for the Win in Workforce Summit. The seventh annual event promises to have the same positive impact with this unique learning and networking opportunity. Denise Guzetta is the Vice President of Talent and Workforce Development with the Sioux Falls Development Foundation and she's joining us in the studio to tell us more about this year's event. We're also being joined via Zoom by Ben Utek, the NFL Super Bowl champion who will be this year's keynote speaker. He's going to be walking us through a preview of his message for this year's summit. We'll be talking to Denise in a minute, but first let's talk with you, Ben, about your message. Yes. We're excited that you'll be here in Sioux Falls. Well, man, I'm so excited, and, and I've, I've got an interesting connection to Sioux Falls because the company that I currently work for as a chief culture officer uh, is founded by Brian Slipka, the owner of the, the Sioux Falls Canaries. Oh. And so I've had a, a chance to come to Sioux Falls a number of times over the past year and work with their executive leadership team, and I've just really fallen in love with the city. It's, I mean, everything about it, uh, and you can just tell it. I mean, people are out, it's thriving. Um, and there's a lot of diversity that, to celebrate in, in Sioux Falls as well. So I'm really excited to come down and, and present on culture. So tell us what your main message really is going to be about when you're here and you're speaking. Well, culture is probably the most talked about theme in, in business. Every company acknowledges the importance of culture, but so many of them don't really know what to do about it. And believe it or not, I learned what to do about it in an NFL locker room of all places. And I, and I joke that in my first career, my job was to hit people first, and now my job is to care about people first. So it's just a really interesting, interesting uh, you know, platform to be in. But really the ultimate message is that culture matters, and culture does not have to be subjective. Culture can be an objective product of an organization that pours into the human condition, and really differentiates uh, an organization for how they're approaching human development. And so everything that I learned about my time on a Super Bowl championship team was to do whatever we could to take our belief and value system and actually turn it into an objective onboarding and educational culture system so that we are practicing very you know, practical and tactical steps in order to build a thriving culture. Because ultimately, the human condition is our greatest asset. And if we pour into the human condition, we will see improved performance. And that to me is what's so exciting about culture. Ben, you've had quite a career from um, from football, you know, winning a Super Bowl in the football in football, and also you are a singer. Uh, you sing, and you have different, uh, you know, CDs, a Christmas album, and a few others, uh, and uh, and now even a keynote speaker. So, uh, how how often do you do those uh, those newest talents, the singing and the keynote speaking? Well, speaking was my degree, and when I retired from the NFL, I knew that that was where I wanted to start. The question was, what, what's my story? And I couldn't get past the profound impact uh, that Hall of Fame coach Tony Dungy had on my life. And I wanted to share that uh, with, the, with the marketplace. And along with that was music. Music has always been um, really an equal passion of mine. And I had a record deal in Nashville. So, you know, I was working at both of those professions at the same time. And it's just, it's created a, just a wonderful opportunity for me to, I guess, be a renaissance man. I don't know if I, if I <laughs> like that term, but, you know, the idea is to use the gifts and talents uh, that I have to, you know, to make a positive impact on people. And mu music has been another great avenue in which to do that. You know, you talked a little bit about how it can be really challenging um, when you think of culture. It's, it's something that can be challenging to measure your impact. You see people sometimes in leadership think culture could be like, oh, let's get some picnic tables. That'll be great. Or let's change something sort of pretty singular. But you really seems like you're talking about really understanding people and having the care and concern for people that helps them advance and develop and that that whole organization's lifted up sort of like a rising tide, right? Absolutely, absolutely. And that, and that, really, is, that really is where the difference is because every company does a mission, vision, value, 
statement or statements, and then they put them on a website, and, they, and then they just hope that people read and then adopt behaviors that are reflective of that mission, vision, value. Instead of putting in a little bit more time to, to take those values and understand deeply what do we believe about integrity? Why do we believe that integrity matters? And how do we believe integrity should be practiced in the workplace? And when you begin to answer those foundational beliefs that drive the values we choose as, as, as leaders, then we can begin to start building out systems for how to develop those within our people. Because if we're gonna if we're gonna be a company that says, hey, integrity matters, right? Honesty is important, doing the right thing is important, we better learn how to develop those qualities in our people and in ourselves so that we actually reflect you know, those values within our own beliefs. Yeah. And our it, own behavior. This sounds like an amazing conversation. And it's yeah. the one we've most we've best understood with a football player ever. So thank you for that, Ben. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Denise, let's talk a little bit about, we just had such a great conversation. Right. Um, you're looking forward to the keynote, I'm sure. Absolutely. Yeah, what resonates with what Ben was just talking about for you? Culture is intentional, and it is something that is objective, and it is something that we all have to be part of and take responsibility for. And we think about, you know, all of the stress in everybody's lives. You know, you think about COVID, you think about everything that's going on with inflation, you think about all of these big things. At the end of the day, it's people taking care of people, understanding what motivates them, what's going to connect them to your mission, your value. And I love your message because I think sports does teach you a lot of good fundamental lessons about how you come together as a team. Yeah. So I just love it. I am so looking forward to meeting you in person. I've been a big sure. fan um, for many, many years. I love the Golden Gophers because I did have... Um, my, my twins are the Minnesota Twins, uh, so we're looking forward to that. So so let's talk about the um, event, and people can still get tickets. There's a lot going on, even outside of this. Let's just walk me through a little bit um, what people need to do to get their tickets and to also participate. Absolutely. So we have a website that's set up. We're on Eventbrite. Just look for winandworkforce.com. You can also um, just come to the Sioux Falls Development Foundation site and go to our workforce programming. You can get connected that way. I see that there's a QR code on the screen. Yep. That's another way. Um, or you can just reach out to me. You know, at the Sioux Falls Development Foundation, I will be happy to walk you through the registration process. But get your tickets today because they are going to go very, very quickly. We're we're almost six weeks earlier than we, we normally are for this event. Yeah, Got we it. talked last time that you thought right after Labor Day was really when it was going to start to to yeah. go. So we're going to get the rest of that information out and on our website as well. Thank you thank for you. stopping by and thanks for bringing the keynote speaker with yes, you. Thanks, yeah, ben. thank you, Ben. The Sioux Falls Development Foundation's Win and Workforce Summit 2024 takes place on Tuesday, September 24th at the Sioux Falls Convention Center. You can find out more online at winandworkforce.com. Tickets are limited and they are going fast. Simply scan the QR code on the screen to get linked to Eventbrite where both in-person and virtual event tickets can be purchased today. This Kelloland Living segment has been sponsored by the Sioux Falls Development Foundation, leading the way in creating one of the most vibrant, secure, and growing economies in the nation. You've got just enough time to go online and purchase your tickets to the Win in Workforce Summit. We'll meet you right back here in two and a half minutes.